How's it going guys? Welcome back to the desk. Uh, tonight we're going to wire this HMDVR from iFlight into my ground station. I've had a couple of questions on how do you do that, where do you get the video feeds from, and how do you wire it into your video VTX. Uh, it's fairly easy. Four or five wires should do it. Um, we'll have this done within the hour. How's it going? Welcome back to the desk. We're going to wire up this DVR from iFlight. iFlight RC. They're located on Amazon or you can go to iFlightRC.com. Uh, roughly $35. Uh, great little unit. Works off of 5 volts. Uh, we're going to wire this into a ground station. Uh, before we start off or do anything, I drew up a little schematic on how to wire this together. It's not very hard. Feel free to pause it there if you need to look at it or build along. Uh, my buddy Billy here is going through the wires, getting things a little cleaned up there for the monitor and the wires that come with it. They usually come with a over excessive amount of wires, so you gotta zip tie them together and find out video one, video two, to S video, back to power, back to step down, back to the DVR. So you'll see it as we're going here. We're gonna do it step by step. First thing we're gonna do is uh, hook up the five volt step down so you can get power to the DVR okay so we opened up the bag and inside we have the HD HM DVR again from iFlight uh, we're gonna be hooking up I don't know if you can see right here the 5 volt ground video in and video out my cameras a lot of my drones they don't have a, uh, audio out on it so there's no reason to have an audio in on the recorder so we're not going to wind up hooking that up uh, we'll see on the little wires here plugs in one way red is positive black is negative so there's your colors Ooh, there we go get that in Get that in focus. All right, so red goes to five volt, black goes to ground, yellow's video in, the green is audio in, so we're not gonna worry about that one. That blue one, the second one from the bottom, is video out. That's gonna go into your monitor under the video two input. I know it sounds confusing, but as I wire it together, you'll see what I mean. It's not that hard to figure out. Positive to positive, negative to negative, 5 volt to 5 volt, 12 volt to 12 volt, all the way through the system. So we'll start off with the 5 volt. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to solder up the servo lead, positive negative to the positive negative onto the DV, DM, uh, HM DVR. And that's going to go across to my 5-volt step-down. I hope you can see that, all right. Positive and negative. And that's how that's going to be ran. All right. Well, there it is, soldered up. You can see that... I went ahead and took out, where are you here? I went ahead and took out the white and green wires out of the harness here. And the reason why I did that is because we're not going to be recording so much video. All right, so here we go. Um, we got this wired up so we can hook it up to our 5 volt. FPV a little step down there I have this wired up a couple different ways here for a couple different reasons first off I took out the audio in and out 
on the HM DVR. It's marked for 5 volt ground, video in, audio in, video out, audio out. Again, we're not using the audio side of this, so I discarded those two wires. And I hooked up the positive and negative to a servo connector. This little jumper here is an extra step or an extra wire to a harness. I have it hooked up that way in case I ever do decide to take this out of the uh, the ground station and put it on board my 500 or 450. I just have to plug this into the flight board on a 5 volt system and the yellow wire would go to my camera. The blue wire would go to my video, uh, VTX uh, uh, on the quad and it would take video in, put video out on a 5 volt system there on the quad only adding 9 grams instead of adding a whole GoPro to your system but we're not doing that we're gonna hook this up to my ground station as we said so okay so there you have it all wired up the wiring harness uh, we have positive and negative getting ready the red and black Video out is going to be the blue, video in is the yellow, the blacks are going to be the common ground running back to the battery. Let's see how it all looks in a moment. Alrighty, and there's the wiring harness that we were working on, hooked up. This is my 12 volt. This is the 5 volt coming off of the FPV. The extra wires coming from the monitor. That's my video in, that's my video out, going back to the monitor. Here is the monitor. Let me flip this up. Get that to sit in there just a little bit. And pull back. And there is the DVR. You can see the wires coming through. 5 volt ground, video in, video out. I skipped again the video, the audio in and the audio out. So let's plug this in and see how she works. Okay, so there's the DVR hooked to the monitor and the ground station. We're hooked up to this quad here, and Bill's gonna give me some power there. Alright, got a little red light, hit and hold power on that until that comes on. Everything seems to be working great. There's the quad, there's the camera. Say hi to everybody, hi everybody. And then Bill, if you can, press uh, uh, K2 on that, we'll pull up the main menu. There you go. And on the main menu, you can see the size is D1. Press and hold uh, D2 and pull that menu up. There you go. Oh, never mind. Press and hold it again. Just scroll through the menus. It'll shut off and then do it one more time. K2 is basically an OK button, so just tag it real quick. And then that'll pull up VGA or HD. HD is, I believe, 1080 at 30 frames a second. And D1 is 720, I believe it's 60 frames a second. Uh, go ahead and uh, hit F3, and that'll show how you scroll through the menus. F1 goes up, F3 goes down, or K, K1 goes up, K3 goes down. And then press and, uh, uh, press and hold K2 all together, and that'll bring you back to your video screen. Oh, one more time. Press and hold. There you go. And that concludes the hooking up of the HM DVR from iFlight. Let's see it. Here it is. Again, this is from iFlight RC. Uh, you can find them online. Find them on Amazon. Uh, easy to find. Easy to buy. Ships in just a couple of days only nine grams 
You can hardwire it to your quad and lose the GoPro. But thanks for hanging out at the desk. Thanks for the build. And uh, happy flying.